In today's lecture we are going to talk about the tendonitis, how it appears, how to cure, how to treat it, how to prevent it from happening. But before we talk about any of this, let's start from the beginning. What exactly is tendonitis? It is formed by the word tendon and the suffix itis. And that suffix denotes all disease, diseases characterized by inflammation. So in very simple terms that would mean the inflammation of any of the tendons in your body. For example, it could be the inflammation of the tendons in your shoulder or in your elbow or for example in your wrist. So then, what is a tendon? Tendons are tough dense continuations of envelopes surrounding the bundles of muscle fibers. And to say it in an easier way, it is the tissue that connects your muscles to your bones, which means that uh, they transmit the power from your muscles to your bones. So, after we clarified the meaning of tendonitis and we know that it is the inflammation of your tendons, let's move to the next uh, point of this lecture. What causes it? What makes it happen? What causes tendonitis is the overuse, the excessive use of the tendons in your body. And just like most of the tissues in your body, your tendons are nourished by the blood flow and uh, it's good to make a note here for you to consider that uh, some of the tendons in your body have a poor blood flow supply which means these are the tendons that are the most prone to injury for example that is the Achilles tendon and the rotator cuff tendon and uh, when you overuse too much some of the tendons in your body you may prevent the natural ability of the body to repair itself which means it's good to be careful and to watch out for the first signs of tendonitis so that you can cut it at the beginning when it's the easiest to cure to treat it so obviously this disease would be spread the most amongst these people who use their bodies a lot and that of course would be sportsmen and as an example here we can give uh, for elbow tendonitis for example we can uh, mention here archers, uh, climbers, golf players, tennis players um, for shoulder tendonitis we can mention here uh, gymnasts, acrobats, uh, swimmers for the knee tendonitis we can mention here basketball players, volleyball players and so on and so forth but you should not be misled and uh, consider that uh, sportsmen are the only people who suffer from tendonitis. It's an injury that uh, is prone to happen to any person who overuses ten the tendons in their body. Uh, and uh, a quick example here for elbow tendonitis uh, amongst uh, people who are not sportsmen would be dentists, plumbers, uh, drawers, painters and uh, so on. Now don't get shocked, don't get scared, don't get worried about this disease. Your tendons are not weak and tendonitis is not a process that uh, happens overnight. It all comes down to methodical training, to the ability of providing your body with a reasonable amount of time to recover, to repair itself. Actually the strength of tendons in resisting pulls is said to be equal to at least half that of the bones which clearly is a lot and uh, if you don't rush things and put more load than your tendons and body can take care of and handle everything should be okay. Now for the next part of the lecture what are the signs of uh, tendonitis? In the general case you're going to feel pain when you put your tendon under pressure. You might as well feel a burning sensation in the tendon area and that area might as well swell or redness but as I said, most commonly you're going to feel pain. This is going to be the first sign that you gotta look for. And the pain usually is dull at the start and something you could handle and train with. But uh, as the tendonitis get, gets more and more serious, the pain sharpens and gets to the point where it cuts through your muscles, it paralyzes them uh, when you're executing an exercise and your muscles no longer listen to you. So that's why you gotta be very serious about this disease. 
Once you notice the science of it, you gotta start curing and treating yourself. And obviously we're going to talk about this in the next part of the lecture, how to cure and how to treat tendonitis. But before we talk about any of that, I'd like to open a bracket here and tell you what the best method to fight tendonitis is. The best method to fight tendonitis is to not let it happen at all. There are three things you need to consider along with uh, the methodical and reasonable training. And unfortunately all these three things I experienced and learned empirically on my own over the years. The first thing is the warm-up. I was 14 and uh, I thought warm-up was like a waste of time. I never paid attention to it when training uh, handstands. So all the handstands and all the work on the computer. And another bracket to open here is that uh, working on the computer a lot excessively uh, isn't the process of uh, developing tendonitis, especially if you're training. For example, moving the mouse all the time really works up your wrist. Uh, or when you're working on the keyboard and if your elbows are in the air, then you're working up your tendons, your elbow tendons. So make sure that your elbows are on resting on something like on your chair or on your desk when you're typing on the keyboard and uh, just uh, spend less time on the computer, okay? So anyways, all the handstands, all the work on the computer develop tendonitis in like uh, the two upper parts of my wrist and the two bottom parts of my wrist which didn't happen right away on all four occasions but uh, in the next couple of years I had to heal all four of them when I was 19 I happened to train in a freezing environment for a while and that's when I developed elbow tendonitis in both front parts of the elbow here and here and uh, the back part of it here and uh, I managed to heal that but uh, last year when I was 22 the moisture unlocked the tendonitis again so these are the three important things to consider in your training always warm up always train in a warm environment make sure it's not cold around you because no matter how much time you spend to warm up your muscles and your tendons you're always going to cool down quickly and also make sure that the moisture is at low levels around you and now for the actual curing once you notice the first signs of tendonitis the best thing that you can do is rest I once had a word with Tenchu Kiriazov which, um, who I think won't be exaggerated to be said to be one of the best uh, acrobats, hand balancers of our time. And then she shared with me that most often he suffers from shoulder tendonitis. And the best thing that you can do is rest. But uh, if you are a professional like him and need to continue training, uh, what he suggested was uh, put ice after every workout for 10 to 15 minutes on the area that uh, hurts you where you feel pain and also get rid of all the elements in your training where you feel pain on the tendons in addition here I'd like to add up that there is no approximate time for curing tendonitis usually something like two weeks of rest should do the work but to make sure that uh, you're rid of it wait until all the pain is gone then you can safely come back to your training I've also talked to Cisco, this guy with uh, crazy one arm chin ups and uh, front levers and uh, he told me that uh, elbow straps really help for the curing process this is what a typical elbow strap looks like once you put it on your elbow in case you have elbow tendonitis what it does is to spread the load equally on the tendons and also as a doctor once told me it will decrease the movement of the tendon thus the tendon is going to be worked up less um, another thing that the elbow straps will do for you is to keep your elbows warm you can of course uh, find shoulder straps or wristbands whatever the case is another thing that Cisco told me about and I'm very thankful to him about is the TerraBand flex bar I have uh, the green version and the uh, blue version and what it does is to work your 
elbow tendons in an eccentric movement. And to put it briefly, scientific researchers have found out that eccentric movements uh, strengthen your tendons. And I'm going to illustrate to you two exercises uh, that I did with this TheraBand flex bar uh, every day until the pain was gone. And uh, do these exercises, for example, like uh, two sets of 12 to 15 repetitions. Next, I'm going to mention some methods that work for me exclusively and uh, that I recommend to you. First thing is uh, sun baiting is what provided me with the best results out of everything I will mention in this lecture. So if you have the opportunity, go to the beach, enjoy the sun there, or like uh, uh, use short sleeve t-shirts so you can provide your joints, your elbow joints, your wrist joint with uh, enough sun. Next thing to try is physical therapy. Physical therapy is something that I've done for months and years and sometimes it's been providing me with uh, better results, other times with not so good results but overall it's something I definitely recommend. It works and uh, if you don't have any other options make sure to visit your local doctor and ask him for some physical therapy sessions. And last but not least, use anti-inflammation cream after your workouts. I've been using different types of creams over the years, but recently I've been provided with uh, a specifically developed cream for the tendonitis on horses, which means it's ultra strong, but unfortunately I don't know what it's called. I just know it's green, smells strange, just uh, ask around if you want to see better results and uh, use a type of cream like this. So to sum it up, if you encounter a tendonitis, rest well, put some ice, provide yourself with enough sun, watch out for moisture, for cold, uh, use some elbow straps if needed. If that doesn't help, then you can go and do some physiotherapy, um, use some anti-inflammation creams, um, use the TheraBand flex bar. So that was the lecture for today, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope Sincerely that this is going to solve your problem if you have tendonitis or to keep the tendonitis away from you. Catch you soon, go to website for more information.